Biscayne Bay is the glittering heart of Miami, but beneath the surface, it's struggling to survive. Pollution from stormwater runoff, sewage leaks, and septic systems has pushed this ecosystem to the brink. Massive die-offs of seagrass have left 25 square miles of Biscayne Bay's floor barren. That's about 18,000 football fields. And when seagrass disappears, so do the fish, manatees, dolphins, and other sea life that depend on it. That's why Miami-Dade County launched the Biscayne Bay Task Force. They are looking to convert thousands of homes off of septic systems, crack down on illegal discharges, and better control polluted stormwater runoff. The county is using living shorelines made up of mangroves and other natural structures to control erosion and reduce polluted runoff. Some of the other measures to help Biscayne Bay include expanded boating restrictions, public awareness campaigns, and water quality monitoring buoys. The health of Miami depends on the health of this bay. And it's not just an environmental issue. Biscayne Bay is a critical economic driver for this city and a centerpiece of its culture. Biscayne Bay is becoming a test case for environmental resilience in a warming world. As coastal communities around the world struggle with resilience and the health of their waters, a lot of eyes are on Biscayne Bay. Waterloo.